going over some um, early math books, I wanted to show you some options for books that encourage uh, numbers and quantities. Um, so this one's kind of fun. It's called The Rainbow Fish, and it comes with a little finger puppet fish. But I would let them play with it after they've had their focus time on the lesson at hand. So this shows the symbol, the number, and the crab. And uh, this one shows the symbol, the word, and the, the quantity. So you would just go through reading the book and teaching them this is one, one crab. This is how you write one. This is the word one crab. Oops. One, two. Two whales. This is the number two. One, two, three. Three seahorses. This is three. And so you'd read the whole book to them and then allow them time to play with the rainbow fish. Another book that's a great book, it's Scholastic. Um, this one's by Marcus Fisher. Um, you can find a lot of books at your local thrift store too. I would go there first so you can get more for your money. So this has the lowercase word, which is wonderful. You always want lowercase words and the symbol. One puppy. Here is one puppy. This is number one. This is how you write one. Two pigs. This is the number two. And this is how you write two. And so you would go through it the same way. But look for realistic pictures. It's very pleasing. Always do the concrete, not the abstract. So abstract would be Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, things that are not realistic. You want to stay away from that in early childhood education because children cannot differentiate between fake and real when they're young. So you always want to put reality in front of them and don't waste your money on something that's not educational. Uh, my first book of numbers. So very nice, vibrant colors. It's a solid book, so this teaches one through five. So you start with books that teach one through five and then um, go into books that teach one through 10. This is by Crayola. Brainy Baby. This one is by Benden, B-E-N-D-O-N. -E the Brainy Baby Company. So this is a little more cartoony, but it'll still work. So one, one candle, two birds. But see, it has other things in the picture, so it's not as easy. It's a little distractive. Three, one, two, three. But I like how it has progression of numbers. And so this is a great book, and it's a, a cardboard book. This one's fun. It has a sensorial... Uh, kind of tactile and visually shiny. It's cartoony and it has a lot on the page, but you can still use it to build vocabulary. And there's one bunny, one rocking horse, one teddy bear. So, and then you have them trace the number with their finger. It's kind of really a, a neat interactive book. So there's that one. That one is by Flying Frog Publishing. Um, let's see, this one, it's got these little holes and they progress through the book. Um, so one green frog, but it has more words. It's a little more advanced, um, but you could read them the story and then have them, you know, count the two cans. One, two, this is the number two, and so on. Um, this one is by Grosset and Dunlap. I found it at a thrift store, so you can find them pretty cheap. This is a great fun book. <clears throat> As they get a little older, it's more busier, has a lot in there. <clears throat> but it's something that an older child could have fun doing with a younger child because it is a, a child book. This is by Usborne, um, 1001 Things to Spot 
on the farm. So a farm is something realistic. So they're learning about farming through the book, things to do with animals and farming <clears throat> instead of uh, fairies and unicorns that don't exist. Again, ground them in reality and educate them on something that's beneficial to them going forward. And don't waste your time and money on things that aren't real and that will not benefit them in school. Uh, okay, so what's cool is you go through here and on this page it says harvest time. If you could see that. And it says one combine, uh, ten seagulls, so it has an example of what you're looking for. And then you're, you can go one by one looking for them here. So siblings can do this together. Um, the child can do it with their parents. Um, so it's really fun to kind of seek and find. And as they're doing this, connections in the, grain, the brain are growing. As you interact, as you educate, as they're thinking, as they're focusing, as they see reality and they're forming the way of thought and progressing, you know, they're actually growing the way they think. So if they're watching a television show and they're not doing something educational, it's not happening. So at the stables, so you're looking around the stables for things around a stable. So this is a great book. So that would be a, a fantastic book. These are some um, ideas of best books for educating your child in the area of math and their numbers and quantity. Um, don't waste your money. I would say focus on reality. Everything in their environment should be real um, as much as possible. And real pictures versus cartoony pictures, if possible. Illustrations, as long as they're good and have realistic colors. But when you get into the abstract, um, it just it doesn't work as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Please subscribe and watch the next video. I'm going to talk about games that teach math.